Hello, hello. So here I'm going to show you how to uh, set up uh, Tailwind in your Gatsby or your next Next.js project and set up theming. So you can do things like this. You see, whoa, whoa, you can change the theme in your application. So um, don't panic. It's not that hard. So I'm I'm gonna walk you through how uh, how it's done, how you can set it up, and also at the end you can see like the examples because those are repos that you can you can check that out. So uh, go on and let's start. Okay, so here we have both projects open: the Gatsby Tailwind uh, theme example and the Next JS theme example. So I'm. I have both open so you can see like um, uh, both at the same time. And the first step is to install the packages. So if we go and open both uh, packages of JSON, you see that we are installing full human push CSS, post CSS, preset env, and tailwind CSS. In both are those packages installed. Apart from the the ones that we need uh, in order to to work with mm, both frameworks. Next, let's walk. Let's see the post CSS config in both both projects. And let me just take this out. Take this out. And as you can see, is very very similar. The only thing that changes is the config that we're passing to Porch CSS. Actually, I can do the config the same way in both, but it happens that I just write it that way, so it doesn't matter. But the default extractor is the same uh, in both places. I'm adding Tailwind CSS. Then if it's in production, I'm stripping Porch CSS is to take out all the CSS classes that I'm not using. And that's why this part is important. And here is where it needs to take out, like it's it's using those classes so porch css will understand which class it needs to leave and which, cla which classes can uh, can take out and at the end i'm not in the post i'm adding the post css preset env just for the sake of of using the latest uh features now let's see the tailwind css config in both and this file is practically is exactly the same the thing that we're doing here, here's the magic. So here's the magic over there. So here we are setting, extending the colors for our um, our theming, our theme in Tailwind. So we're adding muted, muted hover, primary, primary hover. We're having a bunch of colors here and we're setting those to a CSS variable color. And that's how we can use the same color in both uh, in both themes, dark and light. And we're going to see later how we're setting up that. But this is the main, this is the key, one of the key parts in order to use theming. Uh, you're not going to use for your colors like the normal gray, red, yellow, uh, blue. I mean, you can do those, but this uh, type of naming, it's going to be simpler for you to, to use in your in your application, or at least this is the one that works better for my way of thinking on, on design systems and theming. So we need to set those here in the config, in the Tailwind config, so Tailwind can create uh, the, the, all the classes, all the utility, cl utility classes for those colors. Now that we set up this, we can go to the main.css file in both places and is kind of the same, but the principles are exactly similar. So you see here that I have theme light and a bunch of CSS variables and theme dark and a bunch of CSS variables. These CSS variables are the same uh, in both themes. The thing that changes is the value. So you see here that the color primary, for example, is I'm using this uh, post CSS function that uh, Tailwind uh, let me use that is actually just taking the value from the actual theme of Tailwind. And 
the color primary for my light theme is colors blue 700. And if I go to the dark mode, it's 300. And uh, let's see the danger. The danger color for the dark mode is 700. And the danger color for my light mode is 500. And here is how we translate those colors to, this is how we translate the, the Tailwind config to our application. Okay, so now that we have both theme light and theme dark set up, we need a way to change. We need a way to, to, to use that theme in all our applications. So that's how, that's where, that's what we're doing here in the utils, in the theme context. And if we open both files, those are exactly the same because this is just a React uh, context. Uh, like right. So let's just open one and let's see. So I have here this initial value, the theme, and I'm creating a theme context. And this theme context is, uh, is of course, giving me the provider and the, and, the, and the consumer, but the provider is the one that I'm using uh, inside this new provider does that this is the one that i'm gonna actually uh, add to my to my application and you see here that i'm using the theme context of provider passing the theme that is here from this use state and the toggle theme that is a function that is changing my theme and i pass this toggle fun toggle theme because i don't want the user to pass any values because i don't in this case, there's only two themes, but in the case that you want more than one, like more than two themes, uh, of course you can you can just expose this set theme uh, file uh, uh, function, and you can pass whatever you want. And and this is what we then uh, implement in our uh, in our uh, we implement the provider, so we can get access to that theme throughout our the whole application. Now that we have this theme context set up, now we can go to actually, let me just put this here so we can have side by side. In Next.js, we have this, uh, this slash or, or I don't know, down slash app.js. Uh, that is actually our main wrapper for our application. And here, what we, we are only doing uh, wrapping the whole component with the theme provider that we just create. You see here that I'm importing here. And in the case of, of Gatsby, we're doing that in a wrap, in a root element that is here. Uh, it's essentially doing the same. I'm, I'm adding the theme provider, wrapping my whole application. And in Gatsby, we need also to set up the Gatsby browser in order to um, to expose this uh, API, the, this browser API wrap root element, and also in server side, so we can just import that element and export it like uh, like this with this name wrap wrap root element, and that way our application is going to be wrapped with this root element uh, component. Uh, that is that has the theme provider. Okay, we're almost done. Now we need a way to change this uh, theme, right? So that's where our toggle function comes in. So do you do you remember that here in our in our theme context we have not only we have the context, the whole theme context, we have the theme provider. And I didn't mention the use theme function that I had here. This use theme function is a custom hook that I create uh, to access my context, my theme context. So with that, I can go to any component in my application, like in this case is the index file. I can import that, I can call it, and use my toggle theme function. And in this case, I just adding I'm just adding that toggle theme function to my to my button. If we go to uh, to mm, the next JS version, it's exactly the same. I'm importing use theme. I'm getting the toggle theme function, and I'm adding that to the on click handler in my button. And that way, 
in that way you can we can do this we can change the theme and but what what is doing like what what is changing uh so the thing that is changing is that if we go to our layout we are also using this use theme function to get the theme and we're passing that theme to our class name that way we're changing the class from theme light to theme dark depending on the actual theme in our context and that's the same here it's actually the same component we're using use theme to get the theme and we are adding that to our classes and in that way we can do and have this uh we can have theming support for our gatsby or next.js applications so um hope you like it uh please uh, i'm gonna put the links of the repos and thanks for watching please share if you have any questions please let me know and see you in the next one